Shane, congratulations on your win. How was your mindset going into this fight? It was good. I was, uh, I was a lot looser than the last time I was out here. Uh, so I just wanted to get some extra stuff done for this night. Um, I, was, I was really loose today. That, that's all. I was just like, yeah, I'm here to have fun. That's my actual thing. I trained so hard to just let loose, have fun. But the fight ends in 20 seconds. They're, you know, they're still three rounds away. So pretty cool you can do a performance. But uh, the preparation, that's where it all was. You know, just thanks to my teammates, my, my, my gyms, uh, Lozan MMA, uh, Hard Knocks Muay Thai. They, they kept me loose all camp. They were just like, trust in yourself, be loose. And, you know, when you get out there, you're going to perform your actual thing better. So, yeah, I was real happy that they had fun with the preparation for this one. Did you change anything in um, in your fight camp that you would normally do for this particular fight? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I, um, I just kept the repetitions. I just kept the repetition, you know, I'm like going over it in my sleep. I'm like brushing my teeth. I'm like just jab, simple jab, simple jab, you know, in the mirror, like all the time. Doing the same thing, working with the same sparring partners, but just getting the repetition. And I think just getting a little tiny bit sharper every day. Just those little tiny bit, you know, sharpening the sword every day. Um, you know, it, it doesn't all happen overnight. So I, I did the same things, but just more and more and more to get myself better. And, uh, you know, that, that's credit to my coach and my teammates over there. I mean, I'm here with me every step of the way. So shout out to them as well. Where do you want to go from here? And, um, so my wife is pregnant. Uh, so that's that's number one priority on my mind. Uh, you know, I got a baby girl coming, my, my first child coming. So me and my wife are super excited about that. Um, you know, fighting comes second. Uh, I, I love this, and I love coming out here and doing this all the time. I'm an athlete. Uh, you know, I'm gonna think about my daughter first, and talk to my family, and see see what's around the corner. But you know, I'm not I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna fight again. Who, where, when? It you know, it doesn't matter. Um, because I'll always be great. Good. It was good. You know, the first time I was out here, I really had like tunnel vision. I was a little nervous. I was a little tensed up. This time, I was I was so much looser. Like, still a little tight in the shoulders, but uh, but um, you know, it was just it was so much fun. Like, you can't beat this feeling. So it's like, you just, you know, I'm ready to do this again and again as long as my body allows, or as long as my family gives me the blessing. Because they're, you know, number one, as long as my my gym and my teammates believe in me, which I think they do, I keep coming back out here. Win number two, though, is just as sweet as win number one. Um, hopefully, you get another you know, third one. You know, you gotta keep putting in the work, though. Really nice to deal with um, your fellow teammates fighting tonight. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for being a little bit of a chat. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just so jacked up right now. Yeah, I have four other teammates fighting, and I can't wait to watch them. Uh, Andrew Jacobs, uh, Marty Davis, Andrew Baldina, and Joe Poirier, and a couple more guys that, that we spar with uh, uh, Blake Bellamy, Jack, and Miguel. I'm super excited to be on the tour of the car with them. I mean, these guys are in the gym all the time, you know, working their, working their hardest. And I, I just try to push myself to, to be as good as them, be as great as them, because they've done all this before. You know, my coaches, I picked all my coaches because, you know, uh, they're great family men, you know, uh, and they believe in their protégés, and they've all been there before. All my coaches have, have all scrapped before. You know, they know what it's like to win, and they know what it's like to lose. Um, the same with my teammates. You know, they've, they've all been there and they've all been pushing me every step of the way. So I'm going to go up in the up in the balcony and I'm going to be rooting them on. You know, and I'm going to get some fried food after this. So guys have another warm match of fried fish. So uh, beers on me if you guys are there after my race. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, what's going on, really? How is your mentality and emotions going into this fight? Oh, yeah. I, my emotions were, were on 100. Uh, to, say, to say at least 11 out of 10. And I stayed loose, and I was able to, to, to bring my emotions to my advantage. Uh, you know, I was a, a college football player. A little bit different. You know, you have 10 guys um, out on the field with you all the time. You're playing against 11 guys. So, like, one guy could do something spectacular, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the other 10 guys do as, as much as any coach is. Out here, you're, you're responsible. If you slip the wrong way, you're, you're going to pay for it. You're going to have those consequences. Um, to get back to your question, my, my emotions uh, – they were running hot, but I think I was able to to control them a little bit more and, and ride the waves of those emotions a lot better this time around. And I look forward to the next time too. I mean, there's no better feeling than taking that walk, man, and um, and then and then getting your hand raised. I mean, that's two two real things. Besides control your emotions, what do you say is the biggest difference between your first fight and this fight? Last 
lasted too much longer. <laughs> uh, that, that can crack a little bit. Liam can crack a little bit. Um, I know he has some boxing experience. It's a little bit different once you get these little gloves on, man. Like, it really wakes you up. Uh, he cracked me a couple times. Um, I thought he even wobbled a little bit, but it, it woke me up for sure. It was like, all right, it's on now. Like, I, I cracked him a couple times. He cracked me a couple times. It's not just going to fold. So, so that was good. I, you know, it was a little bit longer of a fight. I, I still got to finish. You know, I was uh, a more accomplished ground fighter. I've been, you know, doing jiu-jitsu for over six years now, with, which I'm a little drunk. I'm one of the, you know, the, the best MMA grappling guys in the world. One, one of the best. I mean, he's been in the UFC for 20 years. I mean, one of the best. And, and I trusted him. Um, you know, a little bit of body lock takedown stuff. and getting him up against the cage. I uh, was able to use a little bit more grappling and, and employ that, and I was I was stronger than that kid. I was I I was an athlete, you know. I was an athlete out there. I moved around, I, you know, hit him a couple times, and then you know, once it got in close, I was like, screw this, I'm taking this to the ground. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait here and, you know, and just kind of ride it out and push myself. And uh, and he made me push it to to be the tough opponent. You know, so I'll credit to uh, to Liam. So I wrote my for the What's your reason for fighting? I'm fighting for my daughter tonight. I fought for my daughter. Um, She's she's due in October. Um, she means the world to me. My wife means the world to me. So that's different this time. I mean, I don't have the ring on right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I got gloves on. I'm just careful. But uh, um, you know, I fought for my wife, fought my, for my family. You know, I was a married man this time around. You know, getting that dad strength and feeling it. Um, I, I fought for Taunton, Massachusetts. That's where I was born and raised. You know, sp spent every day of my life. Um, and fought for for my families. You know, uh, fought for my coaches because because they've been there with me. There's only one guy uh, that, that enters the cage on each side. So, but I fought for all those things. Everybody has my back. Um, you know, but number one, my daughter. So. All right, congratulations on the fight. Congratulations on the daughter on the right. Thank you very much, my man. Just a quick one for me. Uh, you actually won your last fight. I know, I know. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I know. Uh, so, so uh, last fight you won, you won by TKO. Yep. This one you won by submission. Is that the original plan? Or are you it was, I like to get the finish, absolutely, but I'll take the fight wherever it goes, man, because, because I go to the gym, go to, you know, do some more test stuff, do some clinch, do some boxing, do some ground game. And I was okay wherever it went, but um, I could feel once I got in that clinch, I was stronger than him, and I was like, I probably got the better ground game, so I'm going to take it there, you know, I was cracking him a little bit, and I was just like, let's take, let's take this thing, you know, to the next level, get to the ground, and I can start to work that game a little bit, get some, some experience, so. Um, you know, thank you guys all for listening to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is a lot of fun. You, know, you, get, you guys make this like the best regional promotion in, around that I know of. You know, um, you know, so I'll be back to Cage Fighting soon. For sure. Congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. Y'all have a great night.